I guess, died, you know, but he was brought back on the operating table and had one of these classic near-death experiences that people talk about. You know, he said he could see himself leaving his body and floating above himself in the operating room. Next thing he knew, he said, I guess his, his essence, his soul, however you want to term it, was on this, what looked like a totally alien world, and which he literally interpreted to be hell. Um, but he said it wasn't like a hell that he'd ever seen before. It was like a flat landscape, almost how you'd imagine an alien planet might look. And it got kind of disturbing because he said there were just, you know, thousands and thousands of shuffling human beings kind of shuffling around like zombies out of some, you know, a zombie film. Um, and there were these UFO-like craft hovering over them, moving very, very quickly in a fashion that sort of reminded him of like worker bees or or fast-moving insects, and they seem to be extracting some sort of light, like a ball of light, out of the bodies of the people, which he interpreted that these were sort of almost like machine entities, I guess almost like techno-demons extracting human souls from the recently departed. And this story got back to the Collins elite, because somebody apparently read it in the newspaper and the story got back to the intelligence world and onto the Collins elite. And they co uncovered a number of stories like this and eventually came to the conclusion that the whole purpose of why this was demonic was because they, they came to believe that the human soul uh, possesses some sort of energy or is formed of some form of energy which these entities actually can can use as sustenance in simplistic terms. In other words, they're harvesting human souls. When I read that say, chapter, when I read that uh, part of the book, I thought, wow, that rings a bell with me because I had uh, the, the Lazar story. I had yeah. interviewed Bob Lazar, Area 51, and, and Bob was reluctant to get into this stuff, but he said somewhere along the line he read a report that talked about the harvesting of souls.